here's the head I pulled it off and every one of these valves isn't seated it's not because of the camshafts it's because every uh, the idler or tensioner pulley bearing went out the belt came off and every one of these touched the cylinder head I mean the pistons and got tweaked a little bit and so we got 20 out of 20 valves bad on the Volvo B5244S I believe is what this engine is so yes this is a major interference engine for those of you who think you can maybe get by with just a new belt and a pulley wrong I tried it wishful thinking failed miserably uh, word of advice do what I did I did the last thing I did was probably what I should have done first and just um, uh, you could have just replaced the pulley and put the belt on and do a compression test when I did it I got uh, the first three cylinders I got zero compression on I began to uh, question my uh, fitting. I wondered if it was leaking a little bit, so I took the compression tester and I put it on my lawnmower, and I got um, pressure right away. So I stopped because I figured if three out of three are bad, then uh, you know, no, t no sense checking four and five. And as it turns out, they would have been bad too because on both sides, intake and exhaust sides on this engine, every single one all four valves and all five cylinders for a total of 20 valves bent and I'm going to send this to Ram Cylinder in um, up in Missouri They're about the only person I found online that had uh, that worked with these Volvo heads they didn't have one in stock so I'm going to send mine in and they're going to redo it for me and send mine back, which actually I think I kind of prefer that we don't have to worry about if it's the right head or not. Um, so maybe I'll post something later and you can see if it was uh, worth it or not. Thanks.